Lovely to meet you, even if it's virtually. Um, I've, I started my role as a volunteer manager just two months before lockdown at Nottingham Castle. I've got the wonderful privilege in a way that the castle is closed until February next year anyway for a 30 million redevelopment. Um, so in the, worst, in the worst scenario, it hasn't affected me all that much other than the fact that I'm working from home. But that didn't stop me from trying to think creatively of ways to really engage with, with people, with volunteers, starting with maybe a dozen at the very start. There's now 900 households volunteering across Nottinghamshire, growing this plant called the Nottingham Catchfly. Um, it was a plant that its name reflects what it is really. It used to grow in the castle grounds uh, in the 19th century and before that, but it then disappeared. It's all over the country except in Nottinghamshire. So we really wanted to get people growing from home and 900 packs went all over the county, uh, encouraging people to grow, nurture, and then come next year when we're open to be able to actually plant them on the castle grounds, showing the resilience, the hope, this sense of community whilst being a part and then this pride um, and this kind of belonging to Nottingham and just the joy that I've received in terms of getting updates from people, the seedlings growing or cats in photographs or families getting together um, remotely to rival to see who grows the biggest catch fly. It's just been really lovely. And even in these difficult times, I think that we have a platform as volunteer leaders to actually allow people to, to see themselves as being able to change the world in a way. And um, even little by little that they can create an impact and it's thanks to them uh, that we can change the world a bit. <laughs>